The birds won't sing and the bells won't ring if the night will bring a moon, a tune, and you. I don't care where the place may be if there's room for you and there's room for me and there's room enough to dance. just heard Miss Ruth Edding singing from the Albertson Travel Bureau exhibit at the Travel Show in Grand Central Palace. Why don't you come and see our exhibit? And now, on with the show. Take our tips, make your trips on our line of wonder ships. You'll find it's the best way to travel. Each foreign land will expand your vision so you'll understand their manners and customs unravel. Stay at home and never roam, <laughs> you're called plebeian. So be sure and make a tour that's European. London sights, Paris nights, Holland, Russia, what you like, I'll show what is waiting for you. It's your Uncle John, broadcasting. Hello, are you there? I'm inviting you to drop in at Piccadilly Square. London hospitality really knows no bounds. We'll meet you at the nightclub when you're making your nightly round. the blue zither Z, I await with the key to Holland's beauty. What a thrill. We'll introduce each nation, Katina and Gretchen, who live by the old Dutch windmill. Avec moi, si on m'en marre, you be so smart if you do. Oh la la, oh papa, you have no heart. For we'll feel it when we dance for you. Woo -hoo. Moscow to make your trip complete. Russia's full of pretty girls you really ought to meet. You hear those vocal boatmen? Sing their lullaby. 
Gentlemen, this concludes this week's presentation of the Alberton Travel Show. And don't forget, when you travel, travel Alberton. Fine show, Mr. Thank you very much. Good night. Very fine show. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Alberton. You know, I think you have the best exhibit here. <laughs> and you certainly pulled a master stroke when you got Miss Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. Meet Miss Eddie. Oh, how do you do? How do you I'm do? Mr. Franklin, my manager. How do you do? <laughs> Of course, I'd have said the same thing if Miss Edding hadn't been here. Thank you, kind <laughs> sir. So you liked our show, eh? I certainly did. Good. But you ought to have a contest. You know, the Regan Travel Bureau are having one. That's what I've been trying to tell you. The Regan program is on the air now. Let's see what they're doing. Bad idea. John. certainly is. You have just heard the voice of Ruth Edding. This is the Regan Travel Bureau Hour. Mr. Franklin, what does this mean? Don't forget our big prize contest. Next Wednesday night at the same hour, we will again bring you Ruth Edding's voice by electrical transcript. My contract with you, Mr. Franklin, is for Miss Edding's exclusive service. They must be using some of Ruth's old records. I'll put a stop to it. If they think they're going to beat Albertson, they've got another guest coming. We'll have a contest, too. One that they can't beat. You know, Mr. Alberson, I think you should offer a different kind of prize. <laughs> this will be a different kind of a prize. Listen. How would it be? Ruth Eddy, soloist. Listen for terms of our unusual prize contest. You ought to show that to Freddie Harris. He's a nut on contest. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> hey, Freddie, have you seen this? What? Yeah. Look, it's about a prize contest. Prize contest? Yeah. Hey, you see. ought to go for that in a big way. Yeah. <laughs> Nine fifteen. Hey, Johnny, take my hand, will you? Sure. <laughs> he wouldn't miss that for a million dollars. That's eight seventy. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. This is Slam Broken Wire, bringing you the Albertson Travel Hour. Here's the contest you've all been waiting for. Listen to Miss Edding sing. See how many sentences you can make from the words in the song you hear. Immediately after Miss Edding sings, the most unusual prize will be announced. Here, it's some paper, Phil. Let's take ready. Now, give me a chance. Easy come, easy go. That's the way. If love must have its day, then as it came, no remorse, no regret. We should oh, quiet now. exactly Thank as we met. Just easy come, easy go. Party or gathering, the winner may choose. The program continues with the Albertan Orchestra. 
That's one prize I'd like to win. Yeah, yeah sure. Freddy, you're always oh, trying for prizes, but I never yet heard of you winning anything. That's right. Well, boys, this is one prize I'm going to win. Ah, yeah, you mean you're really going to send in an answer? Yeah, I'm going home and work on it now. Oh, <laughs> My answer will be the first one in. Oh, 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 well, good night, Freddy. Oh, oh Freddy, yeah. don't forget, we're playing Bridge at my house next week. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Oh, 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 Can you beat that guy? Oh, he's trying to win something, but he never does. Yes, but you've got to give him credit for trying. Yeah. Hey, we ought to do something about this. Yeah. And I know just the thing to do. Yeah, what, what is it? it? Listen, fellas. Next Monday, they are, when he comes to my house. Uh huh. The birds won't sing for she, you. She's swell, isn't she? She's a prize worth trying for. Well, how many sentences did you send in, Freddy? 292. Oh, oh, boy. Hey, you look as if you're going to faint. I better mix you a drink. Well, that's not a bad idea. It's about time we had a drink. Yeah, yes, I'm dying for one. Yeah, I'm not a very good host, am I? But I'll make up for it. Pardon me. Freddy, you don't really think that you're going to win this prize, do you? Oh, I never felt more sure of anything in my life. Mm, she sure can sing. Shh, please, folks, keep quiet. Oh, how am everybody? Now then, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to announce the winner of last week's contest. As you all know, Miss Ruth Edding will entertain at any affair the winner may desire to give. Don't be nervous, Freddy. You haven't got a chance. The largest number of sentences sent in was, uh, 292. Hooray! That's the answer I sent in. <laughs> Listen carefully, everybody. The winner is Mrs. Correction. I mean, Mr. Fred Harris of 317 Oak Drive. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Harris. We trust that you will enjoy Miss Edding's company, and we are sure that you will give a party worthy of your great luck. You did it, Freddy. Boy, what a party I'm going to give. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, what's all shouting for? I won, I won. Uh, you won? Yeah, I'm taking Ruth Edding out. I won the Albertson contest. No kidding. Yeah. You were. You should have been here, though. It was swell. I mean, the way Freddy took it. Well, who wouldn't take it that way? That's right. It's the first prize I ever won in my life. <laughs> just think, fellas. Just think. <laughs> Ruth and I stepping out together. Oh, no. You've got to give a big party. How about your friends? Sure, that's one of the conditions of the contest. Yes, now, you'd ought to make this party different. Why don't you charter a yacht? A yacht? Yes, no, I'll tell you. Get the whole Paradise Floor show and a few extra specialties. Then you'll have a pretty good show. No, no. I'd engage an entire banquet room at the Ritzmore Hotel. Yeah. Get 30 girls and some vaudeville acts. Well, uh, you couldn't get that for nothing. Oh, well, of course not. You've got to pay them. But if you're going to entertain Ruth, you've got to give a fine entertainment for her. Yeah, Richmore Hotel. Paradise Floor Show. That's a little bit more than I intended to spend. Well, you can't take it to a cafeteria. Remember, it's your Ruthie. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a problem, isn't it? Well, you won. Yeah, I, I did win. Uh, I, I was pretty lucky, wasn't I? Sure. <laughs> yeah, but, and I do have to give a decent party. Yes, but I wouldn't worry about it now. Why don't you uh, sleep over it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think I'd better uh, go home and figure this thing out. <laughs> I may not uh, uh, show it, but I'm kind of excited. <laughs> well, boys, I'll, I'll probably, maybe I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so long, fellas. Have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hire a yacht. Get the Paradise Floor Show. Have a big banquet. Why say a yacht? Why, when I'm on the water, everything's so peaceful. But dancing is so thrilling. Why not dancing waters? <laughs>
to eat. We've got to have a banquet. Hello? Uh, is this the last national bank? Uh, let me talk to the cashier, please. Hello, this is Fred Harris speaking. Uh, will you tell me my balance, please? Yeah? Oh. Oh. And 63 cents? Oh. Well, the fellow that wrote this letter must be a bit off. Why? He called you his prize. What? He wants to make arrangements for your appearance at a banquet on the 14th. Hmm, I'll be on my vacation to Bermuda by that time. You thought. certainly will. <laughs> Enough to eat and drink? Well, so far, so good. <laughs> but where's the guest of honor? You said she'd be here at 11 o'clock sharp. It's 11 sharp now. Uh, yeah. Yes, so it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is now 11 o'clock. And so I am happy to welcome to our little party that charming and sweet little lady, Miss Ruth Etty. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a radio. She's supposed to be here in person. <laughs> well, all I say, I guess I'm like... <laughs> we finally put one over on you. Sure Why, it's all a frame-up. Everybody here is in on it. <laughs> Shine on harvest moon for me and my guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ruth Edwards. What did you think I was doing all week? Sleeping? <laughs> oh, Miss Eddy, uh, would you kindly oblige us by singing your favorite song? Oh, I certainly <laughs> You know, I found out it was all a, a put-up job, and so I got Miss Eddy to frame this on you. <laughs> Till moonbeams have faded and gone Good night, a thousand good nights I'll miss that love light I knew from the twilight till dawn Not one little moment Meant hours of bliss Forgetting what no was like heaven hold me and kiss me and tell me a thousand good
you, fellas. It looks like we're set for the party. Let's get in. Okay, here's my bet. Ready? You win. The party's on us. Kiss me and tell me a thousand good 